At label.co.uk, you have the option to cut your labels to size either by laser technology or the more traditional die cutting technology. In this video, we will look at both the advantages and disadvantages of each method. First up is laser cutting. As a process, laser cutting is cost efficient for short runs of labels. There are a number of factors at play, but the main benefit is that tooling costs and machine setup times are saved. Laser cutting has one potential disadvantage. Heavily dependent on label design, white edges can form along the perimeter of the printed labels. You are simply seeing the thickness of the material. This is known as the framing effect. The framing effect is more noticeable when labels are applied to dark colored products and packaging. Our recommendation is to use laser cutting when you are to apply your labels to white or light colored products or packaging, or if your labels have an unprinted bleed. It is important to know that not every paper and film is suitable for laser production. Please see our material guide or contact our customer service team if you are unsure. Now for the second method, conventional die cutting. Die cutting requires a tool to be custom manufactured for each label's shape and size that is to be produced. Although this is a relatively speedy process, it does add both time and cost to your print run. For longer print runs, we assemble your labels on a conventional machine with a die cutter. Die cutting does not produce any white edges. Here we have produced a fully printed, dark coloured label and applied it to dark coloured packaging using both laser and die cutting technologies. The framing effect is clear. Our online calculator calculates the most cost efficient production route based on the specifications you enter. If your label has a dark background, you can opt against laser cutting during the ordering process. 